find the expression of height of liquid column in a capillary tube when the expression of height of liquid column in a capillary tube now we can consider a capillary tube is immersed in a container full of liquid this is the capillary tube of radius r small r is the radius of the capillary tube in this case liquid rises up to height h through the capillary tube with respect to the liquid container we can consider the spherical surface or imaginary sphere for having liquid meniscus acb is the liquid meniscus and we can draw the radius of the capillary tube again and also we can denote the radius of the liquid meniscus o is the center of liquid meniscus acb and this is the radius of we can we are denoting the radius of liquid meniscus acb r is the radius of the free surface of liquid or liquid meniscus acb in this case acb is the liquid meniscus acb this imaginary hemispherical surface is the liquid meniscus or free surface of liquid below which liquid exists uh, within the capillary tube liquid meniscus is acb so liquid exists below this liquid meniscus within the capillary tube also r here r is the radius of the capillary tube important uh, conclusion that is uh, assumption important assumption is this is the radius of capillary tube smaller and this radius is the radius of curvature radius of curvature of liquid meniscus this uh, radius vertical radius is uh, the radius of curvature of the liquid meniscus acb liquid meniscus acb r is the radius of uh, curvature of liquid meniscus and r is the radius of the capillary tube this two radius this is this two radii are same here the horizontal radius is the radius of capillary tube radius of capillary tube and the vertical radius is radius of curvature of liquid meniscus radius of curvature of liquid meniscus this is the liquid meniscus and this vertical radius is the radius of curvature and the horizontal radius is the radius of capillary tube that is we can assume that radius of the capillary tube will be same as the radius of curvature of the liquid meniscus now surface tension is acts along the tangent 81 surface tension is acts along the tangent 81 81 is the direction along which the surface tension is acts at an angle theta surface tension is acts at an angle theta with the wall of the container with the wall of the capillary tube and also we can uh, assume that the reaction of surface tension is n n is the reaction of surface tension which acts along az at an angle theta with the wall of the capillary tube n is the reaction of s which acts at an angle theta with the wall of the capillary tube and uh, n cos theta is the rectangular component which acts along the wall of the capillary tube in vertically upward direction and also we can denote the horizontal rectangular component n sin theta which acts perpendicular to the wall of the capillary tube let is be the surface tension is be the surface tension of liquid which acts along the tangent 81 along the tangent 81 to the liquid meniscus to the liquid meniscus acb 
of the liquid column in a capillary tube of radius r in a capillary tube of radius r in the liquid capillary tube of radius r immersed in a liquid placed in a container r is also the radius of curvature r is also the radius of curvature of a bleed liquid meniscus acb in the capillary tube liquid meniscus means free surface of liquid now reaction m acts along is it as the surface tension is of the liquid as the surface tension of the liquid acts along the tangent 81 along the tangent 81 on the liquid meniscus acb on the liquid meniscus acb here we can uh, make a correction acts along the tangent a t1 inwards a t1 inwards to the liquid meniscus acb to the liquid meniscus acb at an angle theta with the wall of the container or with the wall of the capillary tube the reaction in the reaction is denoted by n the reaction in of surface tension is will act the reaction in of surface tension is will act tangentially along is it outwards with respect to the liquid meniscus acb now in the diagram surface tension is al acts along the tangent 81 Normal reaction in acts along AZ outwards with respect to the liquid meniscus. Normal reaction in acts along AZ at an angle theta with the wall of the capillary tube and uh, in cos theta. In cos theta is the rectangular component which acts vertically upwards along the wall of the container. The rectangular component of a reaction that is in cos theta the rectangular component in cos theta is responsible the rectangular component in cos theta is responsible for the capillary action or for raising the liquid in the capillary tube or raising the liquid in the capillary tube up to height h and the height h is equivalent to gk Due to this rectangular component in cos theta, liquid rises, liquid column rises up to the height h through the capillary tube. h is the height of liquid in the capillary tube. Liquid column rises vertically upwards. When the liquid column rises up to the height h equal gk, height is measured. Uh, uh, as GK, when the liquid column rises up to the height uh, in the capillary tube under the action of rectangular component in cos theta of the reaction in of the surface tension S, rectangular component in cos theta of the reaction in acting tangentially outwards of the surface tension is acting tangentially inwards to the liquid meniscus ACB surface tension acting tangentially inwards to the liquid meniscus ACB and comes in equilibrium comes in equilibrium then total upward force then total upward force will be equal to the total upward force due to 
reaction of surface tension total upward force acting on the liquid column due to reaction of surface tension of liquid will be equal to weight of liquid weight of liquid in the capillary tube weight of liquid in the capillary tube below liquid meniscus therefore n cos theta into 2 pi r n cos theta is equivalent to surface tension and 2 pi r is the length n cos theta equal 2 pi r will be equal to weight of liquid of the ceiling cylindrical portion dk lj in the capillary tube plus weight of liquid weight of liquid of the portion acb gj Now, due to this rectangular component in cos theta, total upward force acting on the liquid column will be in cos theta into length of the liquid meniscus, hemispherical liquid meniscus, in cos theta into 2 pi r. Here, this is the length of the hemispherical uh, liquid meniscus, that is 2 pi r. In cos theta is the force for a point. So, total force will be in cos theta into length of this hemisphere that is 2 pi r. Total upward force is in cos theta into 2 pi r. In cos theta is a force of surface tension into 2 pi r is length. That will be equivalent to weight of this portion, weight of liquid of the portion dk lj plus weight of this portion below liquid meniscus acb. So, we can denote the liquid below the liquid meniscus acb so weight of the weight of liquid in the portion acb dj or in cos theta into 2 pi r equal weight of the liquid weight of liquid in the cylindrical portion gk lj will be what here uh, this circular cross section has the area of pi r square and height is h pi r square into h dot rho into g that is the weight of liquid of the cylindrical portion g k l j plus w a c b j g equation one now the weight of liquid in the portion a c b j g weight of liquid in the portion a c b j g that is weight of liquid weight of liquid under weight of liquid and only under the liquid meniscus acb is equal to wacb jg is equal mass of liquid mass of liquid in the portion acb gj jg into g acceleration due to gravity now we know that mass is what volume of liquid in the portion ACB JG into density into G equal now what is the volume of liquid in the portion ACB JG that is volume of the cylindrical portion the volume of the cylindrical portion AB JG AB JCG minus volume of the hemisphere a o b c a that is the volume of liquid into density that is rho into g we get the expression of a c b j g that is the weight of liquid in the under the liquid meniscus so this is uh, what the portion cylindrical portion volume of liquid of the cylindrical portion of radius r and height r height is also r so volume of the of this cylindrical portion will be pi r square into r now if we subtract volume of this hemisphere from the volume of the cylinder a b j c g so volume of the hemisphere is 1 by 2 4 by 3 pi r cube equal so here w a c b j g 
is equal now volume of the cylindrical portion a b j c g is equal pi, pi r square into r minus volume of the hemisphere is what 1 by 2 4 by 3 pi r cube into rho g so this is the diagram we are considering the diagram a c b is the liquid meniscus volume of the cylindrical portion so this is the liquid below the liquid meniscus and volume of this portion V A B J C J J C G is pi r square r minus volume of the hemisphere having radius r and um, height is r. We can denote the liquid below the liquid meniscus. In this case volume of this portion uh, uh, below liquid meniscus is A C B J G is equal to is equal to volume of the cylindrical portion minus volume of the hemisphere and what is the volume of this hemisphere if we consider the sphere having volume 4 by 3 pi r cube then volume of the hemisphere will be 1 by 2 4 by 3 pi r cube so what should be the volume of this hemisphere equal 1 by 2 4 by 3 pi r cube so we get so this is 1 by 2 4 by 3 pi r cube is the volume of the hemisphere that should be subtracted from the volume of the cylinder of radius r and height r that means we get pi r square r minus 1 by 2 4 by 3 pi r cube rho g Now we get W A C B J G as equal if we take common pi r cube under bracket 1 minus 2 by 3 rho g or common W A C B J G is equal to 1 by 3 pi r cube rho g. This is equation 2. Equation 2. From equation 1 we can write in cos theta 2 pi r equal pi r square h rho g plus w a c b j g or in cos theta 2 pi r equal pi r square h rho g one third pi r cube rho g putting the expression of w a c b j g in cos theta 2 pi r is equal to taking common pi r square under bracket we should have h plus r by 3 bracket closed rho g is cos theta 2 pi r is cos theta 2 pi r now we can cancel pi also is cos theta into 2 equal r bracket open h plus r by 3 rho g where n equal s n is the reaction of surface tension is that's why we can write n equal s or comma h plus r by 3 equal to s cos theta divided by rho r g or comma h equal to s cos theta divided by rho r g minus r by 3 h equal to s cos theta divided by rho rg minus r by 3 that is the height of liquid in height of liquid column in capillary tube h this is the height of liquid column h is equal to s cos theta rho rg minus r by 3 this relation is known as ascent formula for a liquid column in a capillary tube additional information if the capillary tube is very narrow is very narrow in that case, the radius of the capillary tube that is R is much less than small h and R by 3 can be neglected with respect to h. Therefore, h is equal to s cos theta divided by rho Rg. h equal to s cos theta divided by rho Rg, which is the height of liquid in a very narrow capillary tube. Height of uh, li liquid in a very narrow capillary tube.